Okay, Zoro this chapter. Dude! He, okay, so Pika is the size of probably a country right now because when he put his palm on King Riku, like when he was trying to kill him, they said that his palm was the size of the entire city of Dressrosa itself. So then him and Zoro were about to go at it, and then Zoro puts on his bandana and he says, give me, tw give me two minutes, two minutes to just slice this guy up. So then he's going around, and Pika is just running away like some sort of wimp. And, you know, it's really, it's really taking me off because Pika's not doing anything so far. And all he's doing is trying to um, kill King Riku. And I don't know what you guys read, which translation, but it said, it said to me that Pika, ha his hand was the size of a city. And then he, he was basically the entire size of a country, Pika himself, since he uses the Stone Stone Fruit and all. And honestly, I'm just going to keep this review br brief, mo mainly because not a lot happened. It was just Zoro wrecking um, Pika. And what Zoro does, like, I literally said his attack out loud. I went like, this is sick guy, eat today, Samson. Because, he, well, first he does that three sword style. And that's just, it's so badass. And then Zoro, he goes in, he yells that attack out loud. And then, boom, he cuts Pika's stone form in half. And then he's going to come right back. And he's going to slice Pika a second time using his, um, using his hockey Basically to just, well, no, no, he used, I think he used Haki to slice Pika up the first time. And then the second time, he just sliced him up in his real form. And Pika, I, I really was shocked that Pika wasn't scared about this. Because it was like Zoro came out of nowhere just slicing him up. And he was jumping and everything. And Usopp was scared out of his mind. He's going like, Zoro, don't do it. But that's Usopp. He's always scared out of his mind. But this chapter was just Zoro wrecking Pika. That's all I got to say. I'm glad that this fight has ended. Hopefully, we're going to go back to Luffy trying to wreck Bellamy or Trebol or, yeah, whoever we go back to. I'm really hoping to see how that fight um, ends. But with, with, um, one, with one Delphomingo executive down, we have about two more to go or three more to go. Tell me in the comments, who do you think is going to lose next, Trebol or, or um, who is it, Bellamy or Doflamingo? Tell me in the comments below, but and also tell me what did you guys think about this chapter? I know you Zoro fanboys are completely fangasming over this because I sort of was too. Cause Zoro, he's goat, he's goat. But that's about it for me today. If you guys like my review, be sure to subscribe if you're new. And thank you guys so much for stopping by. And until we meet again, see ya.